This is Twit. All right, so Android Things is a thing. And Martin, you have an Android Things thing. Oh, I do, I do. Let and, me grab it from the side. And I'm very um, curious, I'm very interested, as I think we all are, because I've heard about this Android, Android thing thing. They were on Google I.O. They, they had a little dome at Google I.O. of, like, demos you could try. That's and right. And I was like, oh, man, this that's is so right. neat. So developers can kind of get in there and, and use what looks, I mean, what looks to me with my untrained eye to be like a little developer board that's reminiscent of a, you know, I have a couple of Raspberry Pis at home. So kind of looks uh, similar to that. But how is it different? Uh, what, how did you get yours and, and what, what does it do? Um, well, uh, they, I went to, uh, Krakow for the Google developer conference there and, um, yeah, they were demoing, uh, a lot of, uh, different, uh, use cases for, uh, this little board. Um, and they gave every developer there, um, a development kit. So that's how I got mine. Um, and I was very, uh, lucky to get it very quickly because, uh, the line literally took, uh, a couple of hours, uh, to get your development board, uh, which thank God I missed. Um, <laughs> but this is what I got. Um, let me hold it up. Is it visible? Yeah, it's visible more or less. It's a box. We can't really read the writing, but that's yeah. okay. It's just a box. Um, so I, I got it and I played around with it. Um, and this is basically what you get in the box. I've kind of clicked it all together and well, it's connected uh, to Android Studio at the moment. Let me just oh, try and hold it up. Let's see. Okay. Is that a screen? This is um, a little touch screen. Um, this, yeah, here we go. There we go. This is the dev board. Um, this is a little camera module connected to uh -huh. it. Um, and ooh, the screen uh -oh. is now, did I reset something? Let me just reset it real quickly. This goes, ah, Easily there done. we go. There we cool. go. Um, so basically, this is like a dissected yeah. phone at this point, right? I mean, it's not the same thing, yeah. but uh, for all intents and purposes, it's a it's a logic board that you know that you can run Android on and connect your own components to and make your own things. That's why they call it Android Things. That's exactly what it is. Um, when I when I got it and I was looking at the specs, um, it is basically. Any uh, phone which is which is undressed and uh, has the covering taken off and has been dissected, as you say, um, and uh, well, of course, the difference is that it's got all these little um, yeah pins you can connect different stuff to. Uh, so you can add motors and you can add uh, blinky lights or irrigation systems and um, yeah, in effect. It is kind of an Arduino. It is kind of a Raspberry Pi. It's actually more of a Raspberry Pi than an Arduino because Arduino is something uh, which basically you run a program on and the program goes through its steps and then it goes back to the front and then it goes back to the steps. And um, Raspberry Pi and Android Things boards, they actually have real operating systems um, and the main difference between the Raspberry Pi and the Android Things uh, thing is really that Android Things runs Android um, mm. and that means that you can basically uh, do everything you want uh, you've been doing with Android uh, plus you get the option to uh, get info from outside into your uh, little program uh, and also uh, get it out so uh, activate sprinklers all that kind of thing and I've seen a lot of cool little demos but I've also talked to serious developers who are using these kinds of boards um, for home farming so they're developing this whole home farming, yeah, a farm in a box, call it, uh, and they get temperature readings and moisture readings and whatnot and use that uh, and analyze that in their normal Android program. Um, 
and yeah, based on that, they sprinkle or they turn on the lights or whatever. And, and um, so, the, to, to interrupt real quick, these are developers that also have a passion for home farming, right? Because, like, like these are <laughs> developers at a company, which I'm not making fun of at all. But, no. but I mean, just just to oh. illustrate, like, this isn't the kind of thing where you get this kid and you don't know anything about programming. You're like, I'm going to get this kid and put together this thing that helps me be a home, you know, f farming at home. It's, you it's, still need to have a developer mind and, and knowledge in and, order to yeah. develop for Android. But, uh, but also yeah. agriculture and farming and stuff like that is like th there's a huge amount of IoT growth in that yeah, space. Yeah, there really is. You know, yes. in, ter oh, in yeah. terms of like ir irrigation regulation and and temperature control and all that sort of stuff. So it makes sense, you know, that, that there's a lot more kind of DIY farming going on. So like the fact that, you know, this is another tool that they can use, like I I'm not surprised to hear that at all. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And yeah. If you're a developer, it's really simple because usually uh, with farming or God knows what, you need um, specialized hardware development knowledge uh, to program PLCs and PICs. This, if you're an Android programmer or an uh, iOS programmer who has transitioned to Android, if you've finally seen the light, um, it's very easy. It's, um, it's just an Android phone. So you're just making an Android program, uh, an Android app, uh, which means that app developers can get into this Internet of Things uh, area very easily. Nice. And yeah, I it's 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 been a, a very easy to work with, to be honest. And even I mean, just. just been plug and using play. using Android Studio to kind of plug into that. Now you've been you've been playing around with this hardware a little bit. We've kind of been chatting back and forth for the past couple of weeks about the idea of this this kind of segment of this kind of you know dive into what the Android's th Android Things Dev Board is. But you created something with this board. I'm very curious to see oh. what you created. I want to see a demo of this. This is this is terrible, and this is um, <laughs> one of the problems with development. I did. Um, I um, uh, put in uh, the uh, uh, the time to run the tests and do the demo programs and that kind of thing, and I had actually developed something really really nice, uh, and you can see the beginning of it uh, right here. Um, the only problem is uh, once I touch the button, which says says start demo, um, it explodes. <laughs> no, they, I'll, I'll show you what happens, and I will tell you what. See, it reboots. Oh no! Because what? Yeah, it's such a shame. It's such a shame because I had okay. been spending quite a while um, testing this out, and um, what I had done it was I had run TensorFlow on it. Um, mm. Now the. Um, the camera uh, can is, of course, a camera. The Android board is an Android board, so it does image recognition. So the idea was I had, and I actually had quite a bit of success by showing it these um, uh, these pictures, and it would tell me uh, what it was. Oh, let me just get it. Uh, it's a dog. And, it's a yeah, dog. And it actually recognized all these different breeds of dog. Oh, okay. Um which was Golden rather Retriever. <laughs> yeah. Husky. Uh, Siberian Husky. Because Flow was there, I had programmed this whole system to uh, respond uh, really nicely to these things. Um, but then I started retraining the TensorFlow systems. TensorFlow is, um, is of course, Google's uh, machine learning language. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that um, when I show you this final picture, uh, it would uh, show you, instead of the breed of dog, it would uh, have a nice little stop sign. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Especially for Flo. Seeing as we know <laughs> well, Flo Because like, we all know you love the Kardashians, Flo. So. Well, I mean. However, uh, when, <laughs> when I was training this TensorFlow system, because you've got to chuck a whole bunch of uh, things in there, a whole bunch of pictures, but I wanted it to work with the Kardashians as well and not just <laughs> hack this in there. Um, but my TensorFlow, my current model, isn't um, 
there's something corrupted uh, on <laughs> the final iteration of the model. So this very, very cool and funny segment I wanted to do has failed. I'm no, terribly sorry. But you know set. what? It's it's wow. it's valuable information. I'm because I'm really curious um, if if we can just take a couple of minutes to talk about TensorFlow a little bit because this is. I mean, this is a big deal for Google right now is this artificial yeah. intelligence and TensorFlow and, uh, you know, they, they're, they're miniaturizing they're ten TensorFlow for oh. devices to basically open source artificial intelligence for developers just like you. Like, had you worked with AI before uh, working with TensorFlow? And, like, what is that experience I, yeah. like? I had read a lot about it, um, but to be really honest, this uh, past, uh, and it was Google's first European conference um, in Krakow, they uh, definitely had a lot of their top guys there um, on uh, machine learning, AI, TensorFlow, um, the, the Google, uh, uh, the intelligence needed for uh, Google Home to work, so they had some really interesting demos there. Uh, and a lot of workshops. So I went there um, and did that. And uh, when I got this board, this board is, you know, it's kind of simple, but it is basically uh, a good stand-in for everybody's phone nowadays. Mm -hmm. And it runs these TensorFlow systems locally. Um, you can even do machine learning on the actual board. Right. Um, so all of this is is really now coming uh yeah where you used to grab the data on the phone or the computer and send it to um to google uh, or a server rack somewhere it's all now coming onto these tiny little uh, boards and you can run the system the the tensorflow information system the database which kind of uh, looks at the pictures and uh decides oh it's a dog or it's kim um, it's <laughs> 50 megabytes and I find that stunning, um, because it can, uh, I've tested it on, on a hell of a lot of dogs, um, and it recognized, uh, a lot of them. Um, and yeah, it's, so it's, just it's very, exactly it, like the now playing the always on now playing capabilities because all those songs, all those IDs are stored locally on the Pixel 2, and we did that news story a couple yeah. weeks back. The file size is like 100 megs. Yeah, it's small, comparatively. It's, it's insane, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. I was, uh, they've got uh, OCR systems um, down to a couple of uh, hundred kilobytes, uh, yeah. one of the guys uh, there told me. Um, so you can you can ram uh, a lot of this stuff on, on one of these tiny little boards, um, well, yeah, as I can say, you can, you can run, uh, all the, the character recognition and facial recognition, um, on these things. Um, and yeah, it's, to be really honest, it's, uh, something where you can do so much with it that the question is, uh, really, well, okay, what are we going to think up? Um, and how are we going to combine it? Because... Yeah, the the computer from Star Trek uh, is almost there in uh, in yeah. in Google Home. Um, now add you know cameras uh, and outputs and motors and that kind of thing to it, uh, and you've got a really really impressive system. Um, and to work with it, it's actually surprisingly easy uh, because this whole thing took me about two days to set up and um, about a day running through TensorFlow exercises. Um, well, not 100% successfully, of course, you because otherwise... You did all that I... set up. You did all that set up and you almost got there. Oh. <laughs> it was it was very close. Yeah. Well... I, I believe um, if I'd had uh, an hour more um and a uh, hand updated uh, android studio uh i'd have gotten there <laughs> oh updating isn't that always the the end game never right? update never update ever when it's, it's working leave it alone <laughs> yeah well martin we really appreciate you taking all of that time to set this up and to kind of give a, an explainer on uh on android things because we yeah. haven't really talked about it very much on the show but uh people can get their hands on the kit if you go to developer.android.com slash things i think that takes you there and that there's a, a place to get to the developer kits 
from there they, you can get one of these multiple and, pipes and, yeah yeah and, and get to um, get to creating your own kim kardashian is it kim kardashian or is it um a breed of was, dog uh app it was yeah it's kind of Kim or not Kim, hot dog or not hot. <laughs> yeah, dog. that's that's probably what it is. That that makes sense. <laughs> but uh, I have to say, it was really fun working with the the system. It's really easy to learn. Um, and um, yeah, that's I I love diving into these kinds of things. Yeah. Uh, and seeing actually how how much is uh, yeah doable with it. Right on. Nice. Maybe next time 